Today, we'll go over the top 20 tips and tricks that will change your game after Project Next. Let's go. Just for the thrill of it, nothing counterfeit with you. Yo guys, how's everyone doing? This is your guy, Assassin Dave. Welcome back to the Foreign Famous Family again. Before we get started, guys, I know more than half of y'all beautiful sexy people watching have yet to join the coolest, greatest, baddest family in the world of Mobile Legends. If you enjoy the content, make sure to drop the like, subscribe, and turn the bell on to all notification bells. Today's video is sponsored by Kipo, a dating app designed for gamers. We'll share more on Kipo later into the video. Love you guys, and let's get into the video. Tip number one. Monkey Sun can actually use his skill too to dodge Harley's ultimate. You can either use it right when Harley's ult hits you to dodge it completely, or you can use it right before it bursts to dodge the secondary damage. Sun's ultimate can do the same thing. Tip number two. In order to tell which Sun is the real one, all you need to do is look at the mana bar. Clones will always have full mana, while the real one will most likely have less than full. But as long as you use Hero Lock, you will always hit the real one with auto and skill. Tip number 3. As long as Monkey has 2 items and more, when Glue uses ultimate on Swin's body, Swin can leverage his clones to heal himself up and potentially kill Glue while he's relaxing on top. Tip number 4. Karina can actually ult Swin's clone, and every time she kills a clone, her ultimate will immediately reset as if she killed a real hero. Tip number 5. Since Hanzo skill 2 and skill 1 makes him invulnerable, you can actually use it to reset tower shots and so on. So when your team is contemplating over tower dive, you should try to go in first, and then easily reset tower aggro by using either skill 1 or 2. Tip number 6. Dead Vision Crab's 10 HP points are affected by damage instances, not damage amount per instance. So any skills that have many ticks, such as Gore skill 2, Hanzo skill 2, and so on, will help kill the dead crab a lot faster. Tip number 7. Minotaur can instantly cast a skill 1 twice upon reaching rage mode. Just make sure to cast your first skill 1 before you turn full rage, and then instantly cast your second skill 1 if you want. Tip number 8. La Pula Pu skill 2 in ultimate form actually gives him damage reduction, and the more people hits, the more reduction he gets to an upward of 60%. So remember to keep your distance and spread out when fighting La Pula Pu. Tip number 9. Hanzo can cast Shadow Clone Jutsu and duplicate himself at end of the game if you use your ultimate right before the base explodes. Tip number 10. Yujong can use skill 1 outside of hitbox and follow up with skill 3 onto your enemy to instantly proc the skill 1 outer rim damage. This can sometimes help you proc your passive a lot faster to surprise burst your enemy. And you know what else might surprise you today? The sponsor for today's video, Kipo. Kipo is a dating software made for gamers. That's right, Dave has finally found all of your lonely, unattended, unfulfilled gaming hearts a place to connect. In Kipo, you can customize your profile by adding unique cards that show off your personality, interests, games you like to play, and more. As long as you're 18 and above, single, and ready to mingle, Kipo is gonna be your best tool to find your sexy ePal. Currently, Kipo has over 400,000 downloads on iOS and Android worldwide. Doesn't matter where you live, as long as you got a passionate heart for love, you can download Kipo with the link below and start gaming with your next e-friend. Big shout out to Kipo for sponsoring today's video. Despite the incredible amount of hot people on Kipo, success is not always guaranteed. Statistics shows that people who drop a like and subscribe watch until the end of the video, however, generally has a higher rate of success. Tip number 11. If enemy is trying to hide from Ling by walking into a bush, all you have to do is to jump onto the wall next to the bush. You will reveal your opponent if you guys are close enough to each other. You know what they say, stand tall and see far. Tip number 12. When playing Bruno, if you have fast enough attack speed, you can sometimes pull off insane triple enhanced ball in long lasting fights or objectives. All you have to do is to cast your skill 1 again while the first enhanced ball is in travel and repeat that process for the third enhanced ball. Mastering this can greatly enhance Bruno's damage output on the battlefield. Tip number 13. You can use Retribution on Zask's ultimate and deal large sum of damage to instantly kill it and reveal the helpless Zask. And you know what to do next. Tip number 14. Another way to effectively counter Zask ultimate is Claude's ultimate. With decent stacks, Claude can wipe Zask ultimate out of existence in an instant. Tip number 15. 
Go play bonus from towers are actually shared evenly among people who are standing within certain radius no matter the participation. So as tank player, you can try to get out of tower range to provide your carries more farm to snowball early game. Tip number 16. Leslie can trigger her passive three times in a row. Use your enhanced auto attack to start off. Immediately after the bullet hits, use skill one and auto attack again for the second passive trigger. And finish up with skill two and auto attack for a third passive trigger. Tip number 17. If ulted by Aldo's, Hanzo can cast ultimate to redirect Aldo's ultimate to his shadow, protecting his body from potential harm. So next time when enemy has Aldo's who's farm in the late game, make sure to keep track of his ultimate timer and act accordingly to counter. Tip number 18. Similar to redirecting Aldo's ultimate, Hanzo can also use his ultimate to move Harley's ult to his shadow and carry all the burst damage onto his shadow clone to save his main body from dying. Tip number 19. If Barats eats Hanzo's shadow and Hanzo call it back when Barats ultimate is about to complete, Hanzo's body will be taken into the dinosaur's mouth and you will most likely not survive from it. Tip number 20. You can turn off all toxicity by turning off chat function in the setting. And this function can be found under sound because chatting is also trash talking, which is related to listening, which is related to sound, I guess. Anyways, that will be all for today's video. Thumbs if you like it, sub if you loved it, and make sure to check out some other amazing guides and tutorials in the channel. Love you guys, and Assassin Dave signing off. See you guys next time. Bye now. Lost the circuit. Bye-bye. Shit down. Where's Hannah Dog at? Hannah Dog, I see Hannah Dog. Hannah Dog, you're about to die. Lost the circuit! Bye bye. Poor Veil Dog, they're the same. Ooh, bye bye, Veil Dog. Bye bye. <laughs> then I, I'm still gonna kill you in a few auto attack. Lost the circuit! Easy dubs. Lost the circuit! KS success. I didn't want a KS to be honest. Nah, no, I'm just kidding, I wanted the KS. You wanna die, dude? You wanna die, dude? Oh no. One one's gonna get an ult and then they kill all of them. I already knew it. So. Two? Three? Oh, you damage him. I'm serious. Bye. I think my my build is fine right here. Just for the thrill of it.